Thank you, Devin. And according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, an estimated 10,200 fireworks-related injuries occurred back in 2022. Yes, and here to give us some tips on how you and your family can stay safe this summer and this holiday week is our very own nurse, Christina Paris, who, as always, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah, so obviously, you know, this week is 4th of July, mm -hmm. holiday week. What kind of health or safety tips do you have for us? Yeah, so I have quite a few that I've gotten from the American Red Cross and um, FEMA. So uh, one of them is grilling. We're all going to go out, you know, what do we love to do? We love to have these picnics. We love to grill out. So when you're grilling, make sure that you keep your containers upright. Don't mm -hmm. tilt them over, tip them over. Uh, make sure your hoses don't have any leaks. Um, it, I know it seems obvious, but grill outside. Even if mm -hmm. we do get a little rain, don't push it into the garage or anywhere near the house on the deck, places like that that can easily catch on fire. So you want to be safe with grilling. Insect bites. We did talk a lot about the mosquitoes, <laughs> but we also have bees. Um, and so if you have a, a serious allergic reaction to bees, you want to make sure that you have your EpiPen handy and nearby. Um, and if you do get a bee sting or an insect bite and you feel like you have a lot of swelling, say your hand swells, you feel Feel like your face swells your throat you you feel scratchy like <clears throat> you have to clear your throat mm -hmm. that could be a sign of a serious um, mm -hmm. allergic reaction so you want to get medical attention very fast yeah. mm -hmm. and yeah. then yeah. choking that's another thing you know we go to these festivals mm -hmm. what do they have hot dogs hot dogs are a big choking hazard for kids so make sure that you watch your kids cut the hot dogs really um, into small pieces mm -hmm. watch for things like grapes peanuts, other things that can be a big choking hazard to kids. So we want to be careful with that. Sunburns, make sure you're using a UV protection greater than mm -hmm. 30 um, and wear light clothing. Uh, even though it's it's probably not going to be jumping in the pool, swimming kind of weather necessarily, we do want to make sure we're still exposed to those UV rays you still can get or if you're plowing the fields. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and anyone who's outside, you know, doing any sort of activities this 4th yep. of July week. Put on that sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then food poisoning. Of course, wash your hands. Make mm -hmm. sure you don't leave, uh, you know, the hot dogs sitting out in mm -hmm. the heat or the potato salad sitting out in the heat in the sun. Right. Um, make sure that those are cooked really well. And um, and last, I'll talk about alcohol poisoning. So, you know, this was something I didn't think about either. With children, you know, nowadays the drinks are so fruity and yet <laughs> full of alcohol, um, and so be really careful. That can be really serious, um, mm -hmm. and children can get alcohol poisoning. So make sure if you're um, enjoying your holiday out on the boat or sitting around the campfire that you uh, protect your your fruity drinks, yeah. alcoholic beverages from your kids. And also probably being aware how much you drank as well. Right, exactly, yeah. yes. Have a designated driver, for sure. Especially, mm -hmm. you know, for a vehicle, you know, on land or water. Right. You know, it's, it's all always good to you know have that responsible individual also Absolutely. you know yourself you know stay hydrated it's Absolutely. gonna be um, even if it's not hot hot no that sun beats down on you right. and then, you know you, yeah. it just sneaks up on you before you know you it. get dehydrated with right. the alcohol so. well and those those drinks that are super fruity and you don't think they're a lot mm -hmm. but they're really packed with a lot of alcohol it can hit you so you yes. can stop drinking and get drunker as time goes on, yeah. even though you haven't been drinking because it takes a while. They go down so easy, you don't realize how many right. you drink. And it takes a while to process. So be cautious for that for Those sure, too. Certainly some good tips yeah. there. And anyone who has social media has seen the viral videos where home fireworks go wrong or, you know, boating disasters. We've all seen them. So, so what are some safety tips specifically for the fireworks and the water safety yeah, this year? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the biggest with the mm. fireworks is let the professionals do it. Like, go to the shows, enjoy the shows. Um, don't try to do it yourself. Plus there's, uh, a, there's a lot of good options, you know, for like yeah. fire departments too. They always right. go around and they, they have some that, you know, go off by lakes as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you want to stay at least 500 feet from mm. any fireworks shows. Mm. Um, if, you know, you light a firework, you're doing those little home sparkler things. Um, you want to make sure that if it doesn't go off, don't don't try to attempt to relight it. Um, mm -hmm. That one is just no good. Go to the next one and don't 
light up multiple ones at the same time and sparklers we all love sparklers uh -huh. there's they're really really dangerous they're really hot and mm -hmm. so yes. if you're gonna allow your children make sure that you're very close watching them you know yeah really mm -hmm. really close and then with um, beach weather or beach you know being out on the beach if your kids are swimming make sure they're in arms reach at all mm -hmm. times for especially little ones so that you can grab them make sure they wear their their life preservers um, on boats or when they're out swimming. Um, we want to make sure we yeah. keep those kiddos safe from drowning as well. well. Those are certainly good tips and you know we also learn things from things going wrong in our own family fireworks. Right, right. Uh, so don't throw boxes in the oh, fire. No. Uh, even if you think they're empty don't do that. Uh, oh. That's a very bad idea because yeah. there might not be. Yeah. But, uh, you know just some helpful yeah. tips. I'll, learn, um, I'll throw out don't attach any toys to fireworks. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Again just not that I'm saying that was an right. experience. I'm just <laughs> going to throw that out there for everyone else. Right. And as a mom whose teens may or may not have started the campfire with gasoline, please don't do that. Don't do that it. is a lot not, of hypotheticals on this couch not this morning. Safe. No. You, might, you, might, you might think, oh, maybe that'll be cool. Uh, it's not. It's uh, far too dangerous. Yeah. And you know, it's best just it to can. have a safe, you know, fun yeah. time so you can keep having you the fun can. times. Right. Yeah. Enjoy everyone else's videos. Don't make mm -hmm. them yourself. <laughs> well, thanks so much for coming in this morning and telling us, you know, yes. how to have a safe Fourth of July this year. Yeah. It's going to be great. Yes. Yeah. Happy Fourth of July. Hey, thanks yeah. you too. Yeah. And coming up, we have what's trending, including which zoo.